Okay, example three. James claims that he has six cubic meters uh, of space. Some people say six meter cubed. Please don't let that confuse you. Left in his water tank. Calculate the amount of water that James can fill in a tank. Now remember, a tank is a cylindrical container like this, unless they state it's not, right? Unless they say the tank is rectangular. I usually imagine it being cylindrical, cylindrical but sometimes that doesn't even matter. Use one cubic meters um, is equal to 1,000 liters to answer the question. So the question said, calculate the amount of water that James can fill in the tank if the space is six cubic meters. Remember I said volume. This is unit measurement for volume. So before we continue, let's talk about unit of measurements. Okay, so I said that distance or length can be measured in millimeters or centimeters or meters or kilometers, right? So now we're going to talk about volume, which volume is length times the breadth times the height, which is all measured in these units of measurement. Like the length can be measured in any of these, the breadth can be measured in any of these, and the height can also be measured in all of these. But once you get volume, the unit of measurement for volume is then one, two, three, or look at that, millimeter cubed or centimeter cubed or it can even be meter cubed or it can be kilometer cubed, cubic kilometers, <laughs> whichever way you prefer. Okay, now we are talking about here. See, they didn't say that the volume, they said that the claims that he has 600 cubic meters of space left in his water tank, calculate the amount of water that James can fill in the tank. So we have to know that this is actually volume, and therefore we can change it to liters, right? But this one is nice because then we already have the volume, we don't have to calculate it, and, and sometimes it can give you length, length, and height, and then you have to start by calculating. So we'll get there at some point. So here we are going to say one cubic meter is what we're going to use the conversion factor, which is, when we answer this, okay, so what we're going to use is we're going to say one cubic meter is equal to and then we're going to say 1,000 liters. Now, this is important because we know this. It's, we, it's been given to us. Now we're going to find out the one we don't know. So I start with, always start with my is equal to. And then I say, where I have cubic meters. And I come here. Where are my cubic meters here? This side. And therefore, let me write the ones that I have. And you see cubic meters at the top, cubic meters at the bottom. And then the number of liters in, that can get into this tank, I do not know. For the last time, you can write yours in X, in X, you can write Y, you can write A, you can write number of liters. I will suggest number of liters instead because I don't like the X's and the A's and all that. Okay, so now we're going to cross multiply. We're going to take that one, multiply it by that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to say one cubic meter multiplied by unknown is equal to, and then we're going to multiply these two, six cubic meters multiplied by a thousand liters, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the unknown here. Here it is. And then we're going to look around it. Okay, it's multiplying by one cubic meter. So we're going to do the opposite of multiply, and then we're going to say one cubic meter, but dividing by one cubic meter. But what we've done this side, we come and do this side. So we're also going to divide by one cubic meter this side. And now we have an unknown, which is known as six times, which is 6,000 um, liters. Caitlin collects all coins. The weight mass of one coin is 28,25 grams. Calculate the weight of 35 coins in kilograms, rounded to a whole number. I actually took that part of the question from an exam question paper. Okay, number 2A will say how many grams is 200 kilograms, right? So basically, how many grams is 200 kilograms? So how many millimeters? is 0, 0,10 kilometers. So do that and then check your answer afterwards. So pause the video, do this, then pause, then um, check your answers. All right, let's see um, if you have struggled. It's okay, we are learning. Okay, so Caitlin collects all coins. The weight or mass of one coin is 28.25 grams. Calculate the weight of 35 coins in 
kilograms. Okay, now they give us one in grams and then they say there must be kilograms or something there. Okay, what I'm going to do is it doesn't matter where you start as long as it's chronological, as long as it makes sense to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how many grams is 35 coins. So what I'm going to do there, number one, I'm going to say 28,25 kilograms multiplied by 35 coins and that gives me 988.75 grams right now they're saying they said in kilograms that's fine i'm just going to change that to kilograms okay so we're going to i'm going to show you one last time how to do the king henry method okay so we need to change the answer from grams to kilograms and then king henry died by drinking chocolate milk you write it down and then you say where well, it's by it's liters meters grams it basically means the base of all which is liters meters grams and then this is milli this is centi which means milligrams centigrams kilograms right okay so we're moving from grams to kilograms and therefore we're just going to go from the smaller one to a bigger one kilo is the biggest so obviously we're going from a smaller one to the biggest and therefore we are going to divide right i already know that my answer is going to be divided 9.88.75 divided by okay let's find out how many zeros one two three okay it's divided by one thousand which is three zeros zero comma nine eight eight seven five kilograms right we're not done there were two things that were asked they said the answer must be in kilograms and it must be rounded to a whole number so we're going to do the whole number thing now okay so the whole number means no comma remember that in paper one it means no comma and therefore i'm just going to look at the this next number here it says then this one must increase to one and what happens is what happens actually is that this one if you were to put it back like that the nine then will become a zero the eight will become a zero the eight will become a zero and the seven will become a zero and the five will become a zero and now you have one right the one comma zero zero is one and therefore you have one kilograms